in this video i'll be talking about tool t o o n token oriented object notation it is one of the ai standards which allows you to basically compact the token which you provide to llm and also when the llm parses the token and provides you the output then it can be used to reduce the token size now before we go into the tool let's start looking into the the concept of token so i've just did a good quick google search and then from there i found this definition now what is a token in the context of a large language model a token is basically a unit of text that the large language model processes it which can basically represents words subwords characters or punctuations now token is a piece of text that the model reads and understand it can vary in size uh, depending on what are you providing an input or what the llm provides you as an output it contains words it contains subwords it contains punctuations and it contains special tokens as well now in this example as you see for example apple or run subwords words may be split into smaller units for efficiency such as unhappiness being tokenized into unhappy ns and punctuations like periods comma exclamation point special tokens basically they are used for specific purpose such as indicating the start or end of a specific sequence so that's about token now <clears throat> remember the costing of an llm model is on basis of token so the lesser the number of token the lesser cost is for the processing of a specific text or a prompt for your llm so for that tool is basically used to reduce the size of the token now tool is a compact human readable serialization format it is basically used to pass the structured data to llm now it need not be llm it can be any model it can be slm as well but the whole concept here is that it should uh, be able to reduce the amount or number of tokens while passing through the large language model now basically uh, if you see from a concept perspective is a combination of yaml and csv now csv comma separated value is the most efficient way for you to pass any information yaml provides some sort of an indentation csv gives you that tabular format now this is a combination of yaml and csv now we cannot use csv directly to pass to llm uh, because uh, then uh, it may lack some semantics it does not have a specific formatting yaml gives you that formatting now toon acts as a translation layer toon format is basically passed usually passed to llm as an input uh, but as i mentioned to you when llm processes the uh, the prompt and then it provides you an output you can programmatically reduce the amount of token as well within your code now you can use toon when the payload is larger so that is what is advisable as per the research now what are the different toon features like it is an indent based structure there are usages of white spaces like when i talked about yaml uh, yet another markup language uh, yes there is a lot of indentation being used in the toon syntax now tabular arrays you uh, it allows you to declare the syntax once and then use the context throughout so imagine like a uh, a word document with a table in it now in a table you have a header right so you know, for a table you have a header and you have a data row so similarly to that you have a header which defines the schematic of that particular or uh, table context and then you just define it once and then you need not repeat it as what you do when you use a json based syntax now it is all about <clears throat> kind of replacing json uh, but then json is uh, universally and globally used to process the information or the data now this is just acts as an intermediate layer takes the json input converts into tune sends it to llm and then you have a reduced token now this works on the basis of minimal syntax so it removes the redundancy and definitely this gives you that more token efficient way of working now this is an example so this is one json so you have authors and i have three data items right so name john rating 4.5 name agatha rating 4.2 name sydney rating 4.8 if you so this is a json if you convert this into a tune equivalent this will look something like this so authors 
array of three that indicates there are three record name and rating so here as you see there are three records and this is the header name and rating and then the data follows in the next three lines but remember there is a space over here that indicates that this is a data so again this comes from yaml this is a json and then this is like kind of a csv based data notation right so if you see the data is in the comma, comma separated value similarly the header is in the form of a comma separated value and it clearly demarcates the header that for a author table or author's table you have one column named as name one column named as rating and then the rest of the data follows in that particular tune so <clears throat> there are command line tool as well so if you use npx to format cli so you have multiple options to uh, do the conversion process formatting processes etc and there are like couple of playground which will help you to understand how many tokens are you going to uh, get reduced by using tools so i'm going to just show you quickly in github site so you can navigate to github.com to format tool and from here you'll be able to see some information about tune so you see the package you see the benchmarks uh, you see all the licensing and readme related information spec and also you'll be able to see the cli as well so if i go into the packages i can see the cli and then this is the cli related format so as i explained to you how to install the uh, cli so it's an npm or pnp add or yarn global and you can use npx directly as well as i explained to you in the slide and then there are some syntax notation like if you use dash o output uh, and then you can get the output to stdo out so this is like a simple example for one of the programming languages and then these are like uh, various switches which you can use so output file path force encode mode force decode mode etc so you can go through this documentation now if i go back here they have given you that same example which i explained to you compact human readable schema aware serialization for llm prompts so there's a workflow you get a json you encode that into a tool tokens and you get an approximation of 30 to 60 percent less now again it depends on the data as well it depends on how much the data gets repeated and also it depends on the the size of the data so as per the research uh, it gives you 73.9 percent retrieval accuracy repeated structure tables are the best for uh, it's the best usage for but if the fields are varying if there's a deep tree then i think json is the best option so these are like some of the these are like some of the simple you know, examples which you uh, see over here uh, which has been uh, tested and then this particular stats has been provided now this is the example which i explained to you similarly like this is like again a different json array and then this is the equivalent to format now there is a format tokenization playground which i'm going to just show you in a while but then this particular documentation shows you how uh, the research has fared so when you use tune there is a 26.9 uh, rating json compact 22.9 yaml json and xml so this is how the uh, token calculations uh, have been uh, processed for 1000 token accuracy per 1000 token and then there are like other stats as well so you can go ahead and read through that how do you use cli so that's also provided over here uh, and then uh, you can use it for uh, various llm as well right now how do we use uh, so there is a community implementation for dotnet c plus plus closure crystal go php ruby swift uh, and for python and rust as well so you can go ahead and have a look into uh, those things now i'll just go ahead and show you one of the format examples so this is the format example so this is id1 name adder id1 name adder user id1 so that's for one data one row item for tax again this is the example which i showed you like you put two items and then full bar so this is how you can 
uh, define various syntaxes. So there are like multiple combination which has been showed in the uh, example. If I just scroll up, you can see how you can use tune in LLM prompts. And then there's a uh, how to use an API uh, using the encode function. You provide a value, you provide various options as well. And if I scroll up, let me show you one more example uh, on the tune implementation. So how to use tune in LLM prompts. So using tune in LLM prompt, tune works best when you show the format instead of describing it. The structure is self-documenting, model passes it naturally once they see the pattern. So data is in a tune format. So this is that data and you pass this to LLM. So this is a syntax. And then as I explained to you, there are other official implementation. If you navigate, you'll be uh, taken into uh, the GitHub site for specific programming language. Now, there is a site format tokenization explorations created by Chase Adams, so tokenization experiment format comparison. There are predefined set of data set which has been provided, so small, simple, medium complex, and large complex. Now, first column, pretty JSON, JSON, YAML, and Tune. Now, these are the text, like if you see ID1, name address H30, this takes 77 tokens in pretty JSON. 38 tokens, so half of the token in JSON because that eliminates all the white spaces. YAML, it takes 50 tokens. So YAML is a bit inefficient compared to JSON in this example. However, Tune takes 32 tokens. So there is a significant reduction, minus 58.4%. So this is how you can set that as a baseline. Now, if I set the baseline as, say, maybe CSV. Now, if I set the baseline as CSV, as you see, these all things take more token size compared to CSV because CSV is the most efficient format. If you take Tune as a baseline format, this is how it is. It has fad. If you take YAML as a baseline format, pretty JSON uh, doesn't do much well. Uh, JSON, then pretty JSON and YAML fails. Tune still successful. So this is how you can experiment. You can even change the data to large to small to large. And then from here, if you took the baseline as pretty JSON, there is a significant reduction in the token. So as you see, 318 tokens, that means equivalent to minus 60.1% uh, is the reduction. So that's it, folks. This is all about Toon token-oriented object notation. And uh, make sure that you explore this because this would help you reduce the cost of using your LLM model. Thanks for watching.